Hi, everybody. This is Mr. Fowley, and welcome to the first podcast of 2022. We are ready to rock. We know how to balance equations. Let's learn how to identify reaction types and predict products. Hey, that sounds like chemistry. That's exciting. Let's get to it. All right. So how do I identify the type of reaction? Okay. So the way we're going to be able to do this is look at the reactants. Okay. So I'm going to highlight in green the types of reactions. Synthesis is one of the types. Okay. An element plus an element is synthesis. Okay. So this would be like A plus B yields AB. Okay. I made something bigger. That's what synthesis means. All right. Um, if I had a compound, if I start with a compound, that's going to be decomposition. Okay. So if I start with AB, all AB can do is fall apart into A plus B. Okay. An element plus a compound, oh, an element plus a compound is going to be single replacement. So what is an element again? An element will be something like A. And a compound has to be two things together, like BC. So if I start with A plus BC, then what's going to happen is I'm going to have single replacement reaction. Okay? That's single replacement. Okay? Then I could have a compound plus another compound, and that would be double replacement. And I can have C something. I'm going to put a little X right here, which should be here. And H something, so CXHY plus O2 is going to be combustion. And see how I put careful looks like single replacement. Do you see how um, CH is a compound, right? It's two different things bonded together. Um, and O2 is an element. So you have an element and a compound, right? If it's specifically these, then it's going to be combustion. If it's not those specific ones, then it's going to be single replacement. So watch out for that. All right. Other way to identify it is look at the product. So Blah, 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 blah. So we don't really care if, we, if we're not really looking at the reactants. Um, if we just look at the products, if I have one compound, that's going to be synthesis. If I have two elements, that'll be decomposition because that means it fell apart, right? Synthesis combines. Hey, I combined to make one. Decomposition, I fell apart. One element and one compound, a single replacement. That's the switcheroo. And then double replacement is the double switcheroo. And combustion, it's got to be exactly CO2 and H2O. So combustion is very, very picky. Okay? So combustion has to have CO2 and H2O. All right. Let's get into this a little more. Um, those are very vague. Ooh, so let's get into specifics. Synthesis reaction. Two simple things, elements, combine to make a compound. Okay? So A plus B makes AB. Huh. That's not hard to do at all. We're going to balance the charges for the product. So notice we're going to get good at predicting products. We have to balance the charges for the products. Oh, my goodness gracious. That's naming from last semester. Oh, oh. oh my goodness. We can do that. Watch for diatomic elements. Remember, we have Honkel breath. These guys are always doses, right? Examples, H2 plus O2. Ho! Oh. Now balance the charges. Balance the charges. Hydrogen's plus one. Oxygen's minus two. What, what, what? I forgot how. Hey, periodic table. Remember, plus one, plus two, plus three, zero. Minus three, minus two, minus one, zero. So oxygen is right here in the minus two column. And hydrogen's in the plus one column. So that means I'm not going to have that. I got to balance my charges. I'm going to have H2O. You can balance that if you want to. I'm not going to. Then we'll save ourselves a little bit of time. Okay. Let's look at lithium plus chlorine. Okay. So lithium plus chlorine. So I'm going to combine them, element and an element. I just smush them together. I don't carry my two. Okay. And then I look at my periodic table. Lithium is in group one. Chlorine is in group minus one. So I'm all done. Whee! Right? Again, you can balance that if that makes you happy, but uh, you don't have to. Look, I'm my ah, my ah. That's weird. Okay, decomposition. One simple thing turns into elements if we predict the products. It can be other things, but for us, one simple thing falls apart. 
It can be smaller compounds if you're just identifying the type of reaction, but for us, it's going to be an element, a uh, compound turns into an element. Compound, two things bonded, element, element. Watch out for diatomics. Honkle breath. Okay. One compound, split it apart. N plus H. Do these guys get twos? Honk. Yep. Honk. Yep. Cool breath. Right. CO2. I'm going to split it up. Oh, let's see if I can wait and get this back to it. Uh, CO2. One compound split into parts. C plus O. This is chlorine, not carbon. So carbon is not a diatomic element. Oxygen is a diatomic element. My screen just went silly. So that's going to be a two. Okay. Calcium's one big thing. We're just going to chunk it down into elements. Calcium plus carbon plus oxygen. The only one of these guys that's a diatomic element is oxygen. That's it. Oh, man. My computer's really taking a long time to settle in my drawing. Single replacement. We're going to just kind of switcheroo. Ba boop, boop, ba boop, boo. Switcheroo. That's single replacement. Okay. I just want to point out nonmetals, the negatives replace negatives. The positives replace positives. I know all of our, I suppose I should make that bigger. I know all of our fantasy football teams are now over. But if I needed a new kicker, I can't pick up a quarterback. A kicker needs a kicker, right? If I got to get rid of my kicker, I got to get a new kicker. They have to be the same thing. So the negatives replace the negatives. These guys can replace each other. The positives can replace the positives, but you can't switch them around, okay? Now, what's kind of surprising on this is that there's a ranking, okay? So if you're F and you're up on top, you are better than all of these. F can replace anything on there. It's the best, right? Now, the way I remember this is imagine if you're trying to steal somebody's um, significant other. So you're trying to steal their little honey, all right? So somebody told me once that the most attractive person on earth was Lil Wayne. Uh, that kind of surprises me, but that's okay. Lil Wayne. So I think that lithium is at the top of this thing. So this means that Lil Wayne can come take my little honey, right? So Lil Wayne is going to steal my little honey. It starts with Lil, Lil Wayne, okay? So anything above can replace anything below. Hey, there's our bell. This means that F can replace CL. F can replace CL because it's on top. It's more Lil Wayne-y, okay? So see how F replaces CL? Um, but CL cannot replace F. So if I have this, CL tries. That's like if I try and steal Lil Wayne's little honey. That's not happening. Mr. Fowley's not rocking the, the honey of Lil Wayne. Okay? That was terrible. I'll never say that again. All right. You're still going to watch for diatomic elements, and you're going to balance the charges for the compounds. So here we go. Woo. Um, Mg, CO3, and Li. So let's see. And, well, let me look at Li. Li has to find either Mg, hey, there it is, or CO3, and CO3 is not on there. So lithium was higher. Okay? Lithium is higher, so it can happen. So I'm going to Li, CO3, plus Mg. Okay? Now I made a new compound. i got to check the charges. Lithium is plus one and carbonate. Yeah, you got to you got to remember those ions, man. Lithium plus one, carbonate minus two. Right? So when I have that to balance those charges, it takes two lithiums to balance the carbon. All right. Same deal here. I got the element F2 and LIBR. Got to look up at my activity series. Fluorine, bromine. Fluorine can replace bromine. It's higher up, so let's do it. So remember, the positive ones goes first. So it's going to be LIF plus BRRR. Charges, lithium is plus one, fluorine is minus one. That's good. Bromine, oh, doggies, is diatomic. So that means I got to put my two here. Okay, my, there we go. I must get that one. Double replacement. Two aqueous solutions form a precipitate. A precipitate is abbreviated PPT, and it's a solid that forms from aqueous solutions. 
hey, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna save you all something. I'm gonna write this one down real quick. Let's look at zinc and copper, and then we'll stop. Zinc and copper. So zinc is above copper. So zinc is above copper, so this is gonna happen. So I'm gonna get Zn NO3 plus Cu. Cu is not diatomic, it's not one of those things, so that's good. But zinc, oh, it's that Roman metal, but it has a plus two charge. Nitrate is NO3 minus one. To balance those charges, notice it takes two NO3s to balance a plus one. And we'll stop this one right here, okay? We'll stop right here. We'll pick up next time with double replacement and how to do that setup. Um, so we can identify the types, even though we didn't predict double replacement yet. But we're good. We're golden. We're awesome. We are ready to rock them, sock them robots. All right. So I will say toodles to you. Have a great weekend. Happy New Year. All that good stuff. Woo! Toodles.